In this video, I answer the question, can you make alcohol art markers out of drinking alcohol? Let's face it, nobody mature would actually really ask that question, but now that I've asked it, you want to know the answer. So stick around and we'll find out together. Tequila and gin do not mix well. We've reached our first, first conclusion of the video. G'day everyone, I'm Jazza. In this video, we're gonna find out if we can turn these into these. Now, I'm gonna start off with a couple of disclaimers. One, I am not condoning irresponsible drinking. Two, if you think I am more responsible than doing a video like this, you must be new here. <laughs> I need a drink to do this. Mm. That genuinely broke. It's not a news you want to be Shenanigans and disclaimers out of the way, I am going to treat this as an actual scientific experiment. We're going to approach this with a method. And the first thing we're going to figure out is how to mix colours with the fluids. We have the fluids, we have the alcohol we're going to be mixing with. These are bottles of drinking alcohol. We have Jameson Scotch Whiskey, we have Riverside Landing White Wine, we have Sambuca, Vodka, Gin, Tequila. Which of those in its consistency or result gets closest to this? Copic Various Ink, which is the alcohol base that Copic markers are sort of built from. So first things first, I want to figure out how to make a colour. I'm actually going to start off with the Copic alcohol, but if- what is the- what is leaking blue all over me? That's from the oil paint video last week! There. <laughs> this is my new- I bought a lab coat for this video to look like a professional! I just want to prove that I'm an adult! So here is my blue alcohol marker. Nice rich colour and pigment there. The blending element is what makes alcohol markers special. So if I add a light blue here, if I do this, I can create something of a gradient between them. So that's what we're going to be seeing if we can make something that can accomplish that with any of those today. But let's first see what we can do about pigment. Now I have this here which is raw pigment. This is an ultramarine blue. So we're going to first see if we can mix that with this, see if that works. And while we're experimenting, we have an acrylic blue paint and then we have a watercolour blue paint. And I just want to see how they each react with the alcohol ink. But let's just pour in some of the alcohol ink here. So we start off with the watercolour. So let's just mix that in. And that's just uh, breaking up like little poops. All right, so we have experiment one. This is the watercolour. All right, and we have a very sad attempt at watercolour. Oh, yeah, there you go. So if I scoop up the little grainy bits like that, <laughs> then it's just uh, bits of grain mixed in there. Close, but no cigar or scotch, because they go together. Moving on. Well, this is water-based. Do you know what? To be fair, I think I should be doing four of these. So we're still with the Copic Various Ink. Let's mix in the acrylic. This is still water-based, so I'm assuming the results are going to be quite similar. All right, obviously same thing here, except the chunks are a little chunkier and a little more saturated themselves. So now we're going to mix in an oil paint, and I have no idea what's going to happen here. Bit of a shake in here. Brush that down. Now, see, that's just lumps of oil paint saturated in <laughs> alcohol. All right, we're doing well. Really hope this one works. <laughs> Let's make our little placeholder for it. This is number four. Now I'm a little nervous because if this doesn't work, I'm not sure what to do for the rest of the video. This is absolutely absorbing into the alcohol, creating a good solid color. Oh, thank God! Wow, my God. That's good, I would say that number four is a stunning success. So winner, winner, chicken dinner, the pigments. Uh, obviously what we're going to be working with for the rest of this video. Moving on. Now to do this effectively, I actually have these empty brush pen canisters. I'm going to create a pen for each of these alcohols and then the winner out of all of them will be used to create an artwork. Not a good art, but an artwork. Keep your expectations in check. Alright, first we have Tequila! Tequila is my lady! <coughs> Yuck. We're giving these scores. Taste, I'll give that a two. 
Now to the actual art bit. <laughs> Let's jump into the red, shall we? I don't know how much pigment to use. And let's throw in a little bit of yellow and white for the hell of it, just to see what they do. Oh, look at that. All right, suck it up. Probably enough in there. Oh, oh, it's starting. Might be a little thick. We're learning as we go. Maybe it's too thick. The pigment's not coming through enough. And you can see the pigment separating. If you look closely here, there's like a line there. So this is clearly the alcohol that's got some color in it, but below there is the pigment. Love science. Yeah, this isn't as successful as I would have hoped. So this may be what they all look like. <laughs> this is gonna get very messy, isn't it? If you know what I mean. Hem! Back to work. For science! This is gin. I'm gonna give this a 1.5. Gin! Science! Blue and red. Hey, gin, not too bad. Not sure it's gonna get much better than this, let's be honest, but hey, that's something. Oh, do you know what though? If I go in there and further saturate, that does build up, so you can layer with this. This is pretty successful. What's next? John Samson blended scotch whiskey. I'm gonna give that one a seven. All right, scotch whiskey. Mm. There is potentially an advantage to it having 40% alcohol as opposed to the others which have slightly less and maybe it'll blend better. But the disadvantage as you can see is the loudest one and that is that the color is not clean. So I think it's it's uh, most reasonable to test the color along with the saturation and in doing so, I'm going to mix this with a blue. That's looking pretty blue. There is a warmth to it, I'll say that. Suck it up. All right, let's see how this draws. None of these are painting very well. I'm wondering how much it is to do with the, the pigment mix and how much it's actually to do with the, the pens. Maybe if I squeeze as I paint. Oh, there you go, that's getting some action. That's not too bad, actually. Squeeze and draw. Let's be honest, it's probably the best so far, but it's also the first one I've squeezed and drawn on. Let's step back a bit. Whoa, I squeezed too hard. That's way more effective. What is wrong with me? Let's see if we can get anything happening here now. Nothing. Now it's time to get a little bit refined with this lovely Riverside Landing Savignon Blanc. So now we have white wine at 11%. Taste. That was a softer, that was a softer one. I'm gonna give that one an eight. Let's mix a new color. We've got blue, we've got red, we've got orange. Well, our red is a, an attempted purple. Let's actually do a purple. I definitely feel scientific when I'm mixing the colors in. What does that smell? Did you? Oh my God, smell that. Oh. I know, what the, that's like a chemical reaction. Oh my God, that's like really bad. That's really gross. That's a point against the wine because the scotch gin and tequila didn't smell funny at all. Like nothing, didn't notice a thing. It smells like a fart bomb, except this is a bit more of an art bomb. Pro probably not, but I just had to make the joke. All right, squeeze and paint, squeeze and paint. There we go. Whoa, it looked way more red in the cup. Certainly showing up more blue. Well, this is rubbish. Wine, you suck. I actually have a suspicion that this might have something to do with the lack of alcohol. Just for the sake of, of science, we're gonna add a little, little category at the end. We're gonna mix one of these pens with the uh, various ink, just to see how much of it is the pen's fault. This one gets negative points. But this is just bad. Let's continue. For science! Watch this. Sam Booker. I'm gonna give this a six out of 10. You know what we're missing? We're missing green, but we've been using some different colored liquids. So let's go back to a clear liquid, the Sam Booker, but we're gonna mix in a yellow and a, wait, green is yellow and blue. Not yellow and red. Mm -mm. The yellow is the weaker pigment, so let's put a good amount of the yellow in. Bit of blue. So we'll mix it, see if that changes much. Oof, not a pretty green. In fact, this green looks a little bit like the white wine color smelled. Would you agree with that, Gareth? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Sambuka. 
Come on, son! They can't be getting this much worse. Because this is bad. Get out of there! That's a little poo color. Oh. <laughs> This is worse than white wine. I honestly don't think we're gonna get much better than that. Next we have the Smirnoff. Vodka at 37%. I'd say vodka's a two. But that doesn't matter as much as art, so let's find out how creative we can get with vodka. I'm seeing lots of blues, red, poo. <laughs> ah! That's my I'm trying to reset it myself, but I give it <laughs> Okay, colour. I've tried for purple several times, it's ended in miserable failure. Shall we try it one more time? Blue, red. Oh, that's a, that's a pretty nice. Tell you what, let's mix in a touch of white. That looks like a purple to me! Yeah, okay. That'll do. I think that's as purple as we can get. All right, vodka. <gasps> Is this the triumphant finale? It looks like it. Way, that is the best control we've seen of everything so far. And it's almost like we actually had a reasonable hope that one of these would be able to do something semi-okay. But the question is, and I've got one marker left, would it be perfect or amazing with the various ink? Let's see. I'll run out of cups. And another cup. Before we paint with our winner, vodka, we are gonna go back to various ink and see how it goes in the brush. Copic. Look at that, lovely pigment color. It sucks really well. Let's see how it paints. Oh my God, too well. There really is no comparison. Now that we have a conclusion of our scientific study, let's put our hypothesis to a practical test. Copic versus Vodka markers. Right. So now we move on to part three of our experiment where I'm going to draw a very simple picture on the on one side here and use my Copic markers to color it in. And on the other side, I'm gonna use the same simple set of colors to fill that in. And the same illustration, but this time with vodka markers. Now when I say simple at this late time in the day, I really mean simpler than you think or like, would want, like. Sorry, let's draw an emoji. Oh, this isn't even an emoji. This is the original emoji. The awesome face. All right. First things first, we have the black. Like this, there you go. Bit of the yellow for the face, for the, for the emoji color. There we go. Beautiful little awesome face drawn with Copic markers. It's not the best artwork in the world, but it's close. I thought to add a little extra touch of authenticity because I'm not trashed. I thought we'd walk it over the line and put on our drunk goggles, which those of you who wa watch the uh, drawing drunk video using the drunk goggles, you will know that they ain't bull crap. They mess you up. <laughs> it's trippy how much it warps what you're looking at. So clean this out, it's not gonna be the purest of yellows. <laughs> wow. All right, yellow, red, black. <sighs> Wish me luck. Oh my God. Oh, I feel not great right now, I'm gonna be honest. I'm just gonna keep my eyes closed for about 10 seconds. All right, let's continue. <laughs> it just, it just spilled everywhere. I know this isn't good. I can barely see anything, but I know this isn't good. Uh, do I wipe this? I'm just smearing pigment. Oh God, uh, that's not helping. Large tip. <coughs> this page is very messy. I told you again, messy. <laughs> so this one will be yellow. And last but not least, we have black. All right, now is the moment, my friends, that we have all been waiting for. 
All right, let's start off with our lightest color. Oh man, so I'm not seeing a lot of saturation, but I'm seeing enough to say that it's drawing yellow. That's a mild success. So there we go, that's the yellow. Let's go to the red. Nice red tongue here. Oh, 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 squeeze too hard. This is my black. I feel like this is better than I expected, but I could be wrong, because I feel like these goggles are adding more color than actually is happening in reality. There he is. Little awesome face there. Oh! <laughs> That's really bad. Oh my god. What the hell is happening here? Wow. I am a disgrace. I know this looks bad, not and not just this. I'm pretty aware that this looks pretty bad. <laughs> Do. But the process I've gone through is an important one because now you know the answer. Of the six limited options I've tested as far as what pigments mix well with and can then paint with as an alcohol marker, vodka is the answer. So if you skipped ahead to this bit, well done, because you skipped a lot of random crap. So next time you run out of these, if you're over 21 or 18, depending on what country you're in, you can just turn to your cupboard, grab this and some pure color pigment, just mix them together and you can, it's basically the same thing. So, um, I want to thank you for watching this video and if you enjoyed it make sure to hit that like button so more people can see it or maybe just share it because it's probably going to be restricted. <laughs> but if you did enjoy it and you're new here, make sure to subscribe for more fun with art and creativity. Which is, so this still counts. And um, there are more videos over there. And um, Till next time, I'll see you later.